This is Dylan. He's 5'10", 176 pounds, and has a 69-inch wingspan. Hardly an impressive human being. But Dylan wants to climb a mountain, despite being average. Average. So he trains. And he trains. And well, he overtrains. Dylan then realized an important lesson when it comes to exercise. Overtraining is a thing, and one that should not be taken lightly, especially for an average human being. Let's quickly run through what M Measurements has to offer so you can see how easy everything is to use. M Measurements can be found in your Titles folder and has 22 presets. Each is simply named so you can quickly grab what you need for your video. There's a lot of different options here. Let's add in the weight preset to this shot on the timeline. I'll drag the weight preset down over the clip, trim off the end, and let's close the title browser by pressing the shortcut Control command one Let's head into our inspector window, and the first thing I'll do is turn animation out off. I'd like the pop-up to stay on the screen through to the next shot. I'll use the on-screen controls to position the weight preset and adjust the scale by expanding the circle here. If we head into our inspector window, you'll notice that there's tons of options we can mess with if we want to customize it. We can change the indication icon, and you can see what I mean if I increase the size of it a bit. Let's stick with drop. You can change the line thickness, the color of everything, If you want to change the number to a percent, you can do that, but let's leave it on number. We can adjust the value of the number by sliding this slider here. And actually, I'm going to decrease the indication icon size a little. And now we have a customized weight preset to fit this shot. Let's go ahead and use the altitude preset over this mountain clip. I'll adjust the duration so it starts a little earlier. This preset is a great way to briefly show some rough estimates of elevation of a mountain or peak. I'll use the on-screen controls to lower it a bit, and let's hop into the inspector once again so I can show you how you can customize this. What's nice about this preset is you can just drag these points on your viewport to the location you'd like. So basically, you don't have to ever worry about adjusting these segment positions in the inspector. If you want less of these points, go to Line Segments and Adjust. Then place your points where you'd like. To adjust what the captions say, head down to the caption boxes and start entering what you'd like. I'll speed up this part to save us some time. Last thing we'll do is change the color of the gradient here. I'll change gradient 1 to more of a darker teal, and gradient 2 to a dark orange. To quickly adjust where the middle of the gradient is in the line, slide the line gradient middle till you find what looks best. You know what, I'm gonna turn off animation out right when the whip pan happens. I don't want it to animating out so soon. And that looks much better. Last example, let's use sampling to show that this average human being has a high temperature. This preset could be very useful if you create a lot of videos about cooking, among other different topics. I'll adjust where this endpoint goes simply by using our on-screen controls and dragging. And the same goes for our temperature side. Let's change the line mode to dots. We'll leave the line color the same. But I'll change this moving seafoam green color to the darker teal that we've been using. And let's change the color of this point on my forehead to an orange by adjusting the edge dot fill color. Lastly, we can adjust the number by sliding our number value here. And I'll increase the number size as well. And there we have it. Go check out M Measurements on the Motion VFX website to see everything that it comes with and make sure to do us a huge favor and press the like button and subscribe if you have not already. Once again, my name is Dylan, an average human being, and I will see you in the next one.